Today we're at the Vincent Building, we're outside a Board of Elections, where our current five county commissioners are submitting their applications for this year's election. I just found out this is the first time that we've all done this as a team, right? That's right, this is the first time you've had all city commissioners come and sign up for re-election. Then I'm running against Lance Richardson, state's attorney. <laughs> I mean, I think we've had a good three and a half years and, you know, looking forward to continuing for the next four. And then I'm retiring from the political game because <laughs> I'll be 60 years old and be time to step away for this. Let some young bucks come up and uh, play the game. We're going to keep doing what we've been doing and uh, no new taxes, better support and services for the citizens. I I've been here now for eight years. So I got one more year to go. So we'll see. We'll see what the future brings us. You know, this is a, a great group of five commissioners. We work well together. We take in consideration all all aspects of every issue that we're dealing with, and I value the the opinions of my fellow commissioners. Commissioner Wilson, sir, how do you feel about running again? I'm happy to be doing it. Happy to be here to be able to do it. Yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great thing. I I was the only one of this group that had never been commissioner before. So I was sort of the new guy, the rookie. Um, and we got to build upon the decisions that they made before for strong financial ground, grounding for the county. And as a result of that, when the pandemic came, we did not have to raise taxes. We didn't cut services. All the county employees got to keep their job. And in fact, we were able to elevate services in order to deal with the pandemic. We didn't institute any mandates on the businesses or the citizens, anything that was impacted here. That was from the state level. Uh, we were the first county, I think, probably to release the state of emergency. Uh, we got funding out to all of our businesses that were impacted by COVID. Um, as, as soon as the governor issued said, hey, you know, restaurants can reopen, our restaurants got notification from us, reopen right now, get those doors open. And we were right there trying to make sure everybody could get through this terrible time. The county's in, in tremendous shape um, financially, um, You've had, you've got great department heads and directors that work for our citizens here in Queen Anne's County. And, and I just, it's been a pleasure these last three years to serve with these guys. And I'm looking forward to the last year of our four year term, getting reelected and serving four more years with these guys. I'm sure my check doesn't bounce. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys have worked as a unit and you're showing up today as a unit, but now let's break it apart because we get to figure out what you're gonna vote on as your favorite cookie. I don't think you all are gonna agree. Commissioner Dumanil. Chocolate chip. Eminem. See, it's our dissension already. Snickerdoodle. Ooh, snickerdoodle. Oh. Elected cookie. Elected, Elected <laughs> cookie. Well, commissioners, thank you so much. Good luck this year in the election. Keep serving our community the way you guys have been. Thanks, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.